Yo, it's been low-key a long time, and that is because I didn't know you had to buy a battery charger for your camera. But I ordered one off of Amazon, and after a week, it came in. So we are back to consistently filming videos once a week, hopefully, maybe twice if I come up with other ideas. But, um, yeah, welcome back to my third video. I just hit a little push day. Actually, it was a big push day. Um, did some shoulders too, rear delts. 14 weeks out, baby, or 13. I think 13. But now I'm doing cardio, and this vlog is gonna be mainly prep based, and I'm gonna talk to you guys soon about like future show plans this year and what I'm doing to train. So stick around. All right, we are in the car, obviously. And I just finished workout, cardio, and posing, which is actually probably the hardest part of it all, besides the cooking part. The hardest part is posing, I swear to God. It's so hard. <sighs> and it's like, you have little adjustments. Is this, okay. Bro, this girl's honking at me, like what? Hold up. Okay, sorry about that. Shh, that lady was in a very, very bad mood today. But I wish her the best because that's all you can do when people are... Anyways, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I just, I don't even know. But basically, lately I have been waking up at like 6.45 just no alarm clock, no nothing. I can't sleep in, which is kind of good because I've become a morning person. So I wake up and then I have my little coffee and then I wait like freaking three hours to, um, what's it called? Then I wait three hours to eat because I'm on a clock schedule, not like, oh, it's breakfast time. Like I eat at nine. So I have that three hour period to just Go on, I guess, Instagram, whatever. The first thing I do when I wake up is check my phone. Comment down below if you go on your phone like before you go to bed and when right when you wake up. It's a bad habit that I need a break, but it's like, what else am I gonna do for that time? Go on a walk? <sighs> ah. But yeah, anyways, in the morning I've been having coffee and then I'll eat and then I'll get ready for the gym, take my time. And then, this is when I don't have school. I have school in person Monday, Wednesday. And then, and then I will pack my little lunch box and head to the gym. And then I have an energy drink, which has been my obsession this week. Yeah, I was just doing coffee, as you saw in the last vlogs, for my pre-workout. Which now looking back, I don't know how I was doing that because I cannot go without an energy drink. My World. <laughs> He's so good. Literally. Love that guy. R.I.P. Measuring out seven egg whites and yes I do microwave them because I suck at cooking with pans I can never get the right temp like if it's too hot I just literally burn my eggs to the pan and I lose like 10 grams of protein so I've been microwaving them in a mug and I just put it in for like a minute 30 and then it comes out in like a little ball and then I just break it and I eat it and it's the same thing and I'm not losing any eggs so and I don't have to clean any pans and then while that's cooking oatmeal this is literally the 
thing that I look forward to the most. This is my favorite meal. I love oatmeal. So I'm going to measure out 40 grams dry and then add water and then pop it in the microwave. If you don't have a food scale, I recommend you get one because the slightest little difference can honestly make or break your diet based on if you want to gain weight or lose weight because, um, look, I'm putting this much back. I have to put a little more back. To make it exactly 40, which is the serving size of one of these. So if you don't know how to read it, basically, it'll say like the serving size and it'll say 40 grams dry. So then I'll just put a bowl, zero it out, and then I'll put 40 grams dry. And that way I know that I'm hitting 150 calories of 27 grams carbs and 5 grams protein. So in total this meal is 40 grams of protein, 7 egg whites, and then oatmeal. So the macros are being hit on this meal. Mmm egg whites but look how easy they come out literally you just break it out and no pan is dirty just take the mug Boop. so easy at the beginning of this video I said I was going to touch base on kind of how I'm approaching the shows this year so a little backstory last year I competed for the first time in August and I did like a little local show at the beach and then right when I stepped on stage I was like Yep, this is, this is what I want to do. So, after that, I decided to connect with my coach and go from there and kind of see, should we do a show this year? And we picked one. We had one, and then I couldn't hold the muscle or the... I couldn't hold my physique for that long, so then we, picked, we pushed it four weeks earlier, and I did my first NPC show in Anaheim, and I did win the overall, which was the most surreal experience ever. Um, Obviously, I, it was my first time, so I have a lot of work to do when it comes to posing and building more muscle because I am super young still, but it was just an insane experience. So that qualified me for a show in July, which is going to be in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and that is Nationals, which I'm super excited for. But the show that I'm prepping for right now is going to be at the end of May, and that is also an Anaheim show. and. That is a national qualifier as well, but it is the NPC, so that's what I'm prepping for right now. But right now, I've just been doing the same diet for the past 20 days, and I'm starting to see like tie-ins come in a little bit, but I'm excited to check in with my coach this weekend to then see like, maybe like lower my carbs from going like a, a cup of rice to a half cup of rice, and then see more tie-ins come in because it's like the funnest part of the whole process is watching like your body change based off the food you give it. As it gets closer to my show, I'm excited to take you like weekly through the more changes. Right now I'm not really getting a lot of changes just because it's so far out. But when it hits like eight weeks is when it starts changing every single week. And all those little minor changes add up to the final product which you bring on the stage, which is so dope. My biggest goal right now is to win my pro card because that would be such a crazy experience. Um, so that's what I'm working towards right now. And then eventually maybe the Olympia. So, but until then I'm trying to stay in the moment, in the present during this prep and not focus on like the future, but just focusing on each day, each moment, each meal. Just staying really in the moment and not getting too worked up over, oh, my show is in this many days. Just because the build up to the show, it's just like, prepping for the show is honestly such a fun part, even though you're like waiting and waiting and waiting for your show to come. Once it comes, it's like, oh dang, like it's over. So I'm just trying to stay like in the present and just enjoy every training, every meal. I'm going to finish this meal and then I have to go to school. So I'll see you sometime. Hit check. A little blue top, sweats, blue dunks. Also, 
Let me put y'all on. These are the energy drinks I was talking about. I had to order a whole case from first floor. So, these are my favorite flavor. Cherry lime, full pack. Go, go get some. You will not be disappointed. Like, I'm not even kidding. I'm so excited to come home, eat, obviously, and then crack one of those open. If you have low motivation to go to the gym, find something that gets you excited. So it could be that energy drink, and then that way you're looking forward to something when you don't want to do it. Because I can't have that energy drink if I don't go to the gym. So if I want that drink, I'm going to go to the gym. So just keep motivating yourself. Even when you like study and stuff, you can find little things that like make you happy. So you get the thing done, but you can also enjoy something as a little reward. I'm not going to be home for a couple of hours. Last night I did meal prep. Put it in my little lunch box. Does it fit in my backpack? So I'm like walking around campus like this. Be for real. And then yesterday I forgot a fork so I had to use like the corner of a gum for the spoon. And so my, my, my rice was a little infused with mint. So today we're going to bring and yeah all right that is gonna be the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe to this channel follow me on Instagram and if you have any other ideas comment them down below or let me know what you want to see and I will deliver so thank you guys again and I will see you in the next video